the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles. All that and more coming up next. Temps a little hot today at Lincoln Financial Field, but keep in mind it is technically still summer as we get you ready for some football in Philly. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And able to get this out to the 25. So the Packers make their way out for the first time, and it's Jordan Love that has the keys to the car here in his fifth season as a pro and second as a starter. And Love established himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback a season ago. And let's not forget, he had to exhibit a lot of patience, waiting for his opportunity to become the man. And once he got that chance, he hit the ground running. The question now from the rest of the league, can he sustain that success? The Packers certainly believe he will. Here's Love looking to pass on the first play. And his first pass is incomplete. It's zone defense right away here defensively, and I know that these linebackers and DBs are going to be tested throughout. They passed the first test, though. This one falls incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Love looking to throw it. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards the pick up there of course the catch was nice but how about what happened after able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage so many of these slot guys i think have running back in their background Throwing. Love. He gets that one complete to Wicks. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 43, here's second and a yard. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. Here's Love. Room to maneuver at the 35 and down to the 28-yard line. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. To throw now. Here's Love. A short throw to Musgrave, and he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. 
Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? So roughing the passer call is accepted and this officiating crew not making very many friends here with this crowd. Yeah, we all know that everyone accused the officials of kind of playing to the home team, but not in this case. They just tried to administer the game the way it's supposed to be. That drew the flag. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. Now a second and ten. To pass, here's Jordan Love. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And it's a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off a season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early, and I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my mind of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play. And if so, is it going to be like this all day? That's a tough one right there. Hurts sets up to throw it. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Well, it's apparent that these guys are getting after it right from the opening kickoff. They roll right downfield and score on their first possession. And here on defense, back-to-back -back sacks. Someone is ready to play. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll drop to throw. Campbell making the catch. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the Improv, and you run into a tough crowd. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. In motion goes the tight end. Now Love. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a couple. Hurts. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Here's Hurts to throw. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Throwing is Hurts. And it's complete, and it's a fumble. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You mates all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it, and not realizing that danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there.
The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Get in the end zone, fellas. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts. Scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now? He's letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Love going to break the huddle. Lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Love from the gun. Short throw, he's got Kraft. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Seven, seven, our score after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and five. In motion, the tight end. Love.
And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice gain. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Oh, a dangerous return, man, showing it here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll set up a throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. I tell you what, when you're down on the scoreboard, you've got to look to your stars, and that's what they do here to start the drive. I wouldn't be surprised if they looked his way a few more times in short order. That one, well designed, and it's a quick first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Two yards to go, second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 41. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Back to throw again. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent gain. From the 22 now, here's second and six. From the gun, it hurts. We'll get this out to Barkley complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time, he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Did he get the feet down? No. They'll say he did not. It's incomplete. That was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact that he actually caught the football, worked so hard to get his feet down inbounds, tried to do the toe tap. Look, my dad's an accomplished tap dancer. I'm not sure he would have gotten his feet in on that one. Is he really, by yeah, the way? That, that he is. How about that? What about young Davis? No, no, it did not. It did not cross. It didn't carry over. No, it stopped right there. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. 3-4 defense, and that O-line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4 you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. On the move past the 40, and all the way down to the 33-yard line. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And a short gain down to about the 33. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. On play action. Love to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Love now. His throw caught right around the six. Touchdown! Christian Watson from 19 yards away. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And that's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play, and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense.
Carlson on for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. A drive that time of six plays. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And from the 34, here's second and four. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Smith. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one, and we go to the two-minute warning. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Back to throw now on first down. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver, that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Hurt sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here's second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Over the middle, hauled in by Campbell. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Hurts. That is caught. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 14. Now a timeout called for by the offense. 
as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and six from the 10. Throwing his hurts. The quick slant caught. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And the throw and the catch were just fine. But against zone coverage, when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll send one of those two tight ends in motion. Barkley will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. A lot of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. They'll drop to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead, and they'll move it up to the 40. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Zach Bond there on the tackle. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, coach. Appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half.
It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Already a terrific receiver. Brown has taken his game to another level since arriving in Philadelphia. He's totaled just under 3,000 receiving yards over the last two years, and he's someone who raises the ceiling of the entire offense whenever he's out there. His goal for this season, get Philadelphia back to the Super Bowl with a chance to win it. A first down carry for Barkley, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll set up to throw. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Play action. Here's Hertz. And it's knocked away and incomplete. It sort of looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. He'll look to throw. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Gary puts him on the deck, and he's done plenty of that throughout his career, recording 24 and a half sacks over his last three years alone, and that's a number they expect to continue to grow. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that'll get the lead down to five. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. 
You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Slant around, he's got Dobbs. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Love looking to throw it. That's complete to Wicks. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. Milton Williams there on the tackle. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's why the guy with the headsets is down there. All right, they know what they're doing because they got stuffed on a running play on first down. And I think myself and probably the fans were saying throw the football in this situation. But he knew what he was doing, called another run, and now they've got third and short. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. To throw now, here's Love. A short throw to Musgrave. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. 
A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Josh Jacobs, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are able to widen their advantage. Sometimes you get a first and goal, and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line, and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. A 10-play drive that time, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now second and five. They'll look to throw. Over the middle to Smith. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They go play action with Hertz. Going across the middle, and Goddard's got it. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. They're going to look to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards for number 11. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. Back to throw again. 
He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Here's a second and five. They'll set up a throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Elliott on for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Catch made by Watson on the out route. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 22 yards there, a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. That's complete to Dobbs. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Glove. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six to pass. Here's Jordan Love. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. 
call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. And this one is no good. He missed it. And they'll be unable to build here onto their five-point lead. Now, this was still going to be a one-score game either way, but still, that's a potentially harmful miss here in the fourth. It certainly is, because if you consider that now if they give up a touchdown, they give up the lead. So he might be getting the side eye by the defenders coming out on the field now as he goes back to the bench after that miss. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, they didn't fall behind any further thanks to that missed field goal, but still staring at this fourth quarter deficit. It'll be a gain of just a yard at its second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. Dances by him. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Hurts sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. To Barkley on the check down. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Here's a screen with Gainwell. Touchdown! Kenneth Gainwell, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. There it is, partner. You see it. Four <laughs> fingers. What does that four mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarter's here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, but we found out so far. Two touchdowns here. And now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, 
you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he will not get there. He comes up short. And they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The lane up. Now a hit and a loose football. This is first and ten. Here's Love. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Here comes second down. Love now. To the sideline and incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise. On their feet for third down. Dobbs goes in motion. Throwing. Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And it's a Packers touchdown. Josh Jacobs, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Packers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Here's Love. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack, and they fail on the try for two. But they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28.
Here's first and ten. He's back to throw. Complete. Smith has it. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball. They've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Pass complete. Goddard. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Well, this defense needing a stop here. Got to have it. Third and nine. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. He'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's going to get this inside the 30. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Final minute. One timeout remaining. First and 10. This is Smith with the ground. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains, and they save that final timeout. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and, he and I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Now first and goal. Back to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. They'll come up first and ten here. Love. That's to the sideline and incomplete. They'll come up now on second down. Here's Love. Watson making the catch. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. What a thrilling fourth quarter this one was. Well, at least, I guess, if you're cheering for the winning side. An, outst an outstanding comeback, though, that saw them completely take control and change the outcome of this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead after three quarters. A little bit of a stunning ending because it wasn't just a one-touchdown swing. It was a multiple-touchdown swing for them to end up losing that ball game. Give credit where credit is due. They came off the pace and got it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say.